hello. Hi everybody, it's Holly and thanks again for joining me on my channel, Smile by Holly. It's wonderful to have you here and today we are going to be making just a quick and easy mini album. Now I had made one very similar back in May but we're going to add a couple of different flaps onto this mini album and just take it one step further. So look at this cute paper that I'm using today. It's by Echo Park. It's called My Little Girl. And can I just tell you, I fell in love with this. I was so excited. I knew exactly that I was going to make this mini album with this paper pack. Anyway, Echo Park, My Little Girl. It has been so much fun to play with. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the mini album and then we will start making it step by step. So of course I've got my bow with a little pearl and it says play all day and sleep all night. Look, isn't that just precious? This opens up, you've got you are simply wonderful, make a wish and here comes the cool kid. And then this opens up over here. You've got the magic is inside of you. Don't you just love all these sayings? And then you open that up and you've got two adorable little pockets here. Look at that cute little insert. And then this one over here says, let me tell you a story. And I thought that would be so cute to have like a child's handwriting, just writing down a cute little story on that. But here you've got some places for some photos and then your wonderful text spots. And I've added some bling here. I think it just kind of is something that it needed. But then these fold over, this folds over, and then that folds over. And that is our easy mini album today. So let's just jump right in and get started. What you will want is a piece of paper that is 11 and 3 fourths by 9. 11 and 3 fourths by 9 then go ahead and bring in your scoreboard. So on the 11 and 3 fourths inch side, you want to score it at 3 and 3 fourths, at 4, at 7 and 3 fourths, and at 8. Okay, and then go ahead and turn it to the 9 inch side, and you want to score it at 6. Just going to do that one more time and we're done scoring. Now I made a little template so you can see kind of what we're going after. Here is the piece that's not cut. So we are going to be cutting out this middle section and then these two little squares are going to be our pockets. Okay, so grab your scissors and what you want to do is you want to score um, on I don't know if you'd call it the inner or the outer, but there's a score line here and a score line here. I'm going to call this the outer because it's towards the outside and this side is towards the outside. Then you've got the other score lines towards the inside. So we're going to call this the outer score lines that you want to cut. Just up to that six inch score line right there. Boom. Then come over to this side and you want to cut up the outer score lines just to the score line. And then we just want to cut out this little rectangle. Okay, so we've cut it out. Boom. So there is what we have. We're just going to round our corners. This is going to be our pocket pull. So let me bring in just a circle punch here. This is a one and a half inch circle punch. I'm just going to center it about right there. I don't need to measure. It's just kind of look and see if you can find the center and it'll be good. Okay, so we flip that out and believe it or not, that is what we were going after. Okay, then you are going to need two pieces of paper that are four and a half by six, two pieces, four and a half by six. And on the four and a half inch side, you want to score it at three fourths, three and three fourths, I'm sorry, three and three fourths. So on the four and a fourth inch side, you want to score it at three and three fourths. This is going to be our flip out pages. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring my base in and I'm going to fold on those score lines. And this is just a fourth of an inch uh, score right here. So sometimes when it's just really small, it's a little bit harder to do. So just take your time. It's a fourth of an inch score line there. That's gonna make it so that you can uh, put a little bit of bulk into your album. Okay, let's do the other side. So what's up with your day today? Are you having fun? Are you summer crafting? Are you getting ready for fall crafting? You know, it's about that time when fall crafting is just around the corner. You know, fall, Halloween, and then Christmas. So exciting. Okay, so we've scored everything. Now you don't want to glue your pockets on until you have put all of your uh, mattings down. So we'll, I'll tell you the measurements for the matting, but let's take our two uh, pieces that were six by four and a fourth and just score them on the score line. This is going to be the tab that we will use to hook our side flip outs to the album. So bring in some glue. Okay, and you just wanna put glue right here on the inside of that tab. And then this is going to just lay down, lay your paper or your mini album down over the top of it and then fold it over. And you're going to see that edge, but we are going to be covering that up, so no worries. Let's do that with the second one. Just put glue on the inside of that tab and then I like to just line my paper up so it's even on the top and the bottom and then that this folds over. Okay, we'll open it up and then we've got this, 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 that folds over, that folds over and boom, you've got your mini album. Okay, and then for your matting, you will want 10 pieces that are three and five eighths by five and seven eighths. So front and back, two, four, six, eight, and 10. So 10 pieces, three and five eighths by five and seven eighths. Now, once you have laid your matting down, you can go ahead and glue up your pockets. And I'm not going to be matting, I'm just kind of showing you how to make the base of this cute little mini album. So let's say that our matting is already down and now you can glue your pockets on. So glue your pockets up. You've got that cute little uh, notch that we took out so it's easy to get things in and out of the pocket. And then now you just have all the fun of decorating and that's like my most favorite. So anyway, that is the base of our mini album that folds over, that folds over. And obviously when you mat this, you won't be seeing any of the seams. Now, if you want to cover this fourth of an inch uh, spine, this is a fourth of an inch by six inches. And let me show you. I just think it makes it a little bit more complete. So there is my spine and there is my spine. And I also did that on the inside here, right here and right here. Just think it kind of ties the whole thing in. Isn't that just so cute? So anyway, I hope that I have given you an idea for a quick and easy mini album. So go have yourself a fun crafting day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye everybody.